Welcome to my first fall painty paper video. Um, there will be a few. I've done a few different style painty papers, but if you are new to the fall or Halloween theme art journaling, this is just an easy way to make yourself some great backgrounds and art pieces to use in all of your fall or spooky um, creations. I've been doing this for a long time. I make painty papers for the themes and for the seasons I'm working on. I do them for Christmas. I do them for fall. This one is my spooky version. I've done these before uh, somewhere way down in the history of my videos. I did some similar ones. This is a little different style, I think. <clears throat> so basically what I do is I take junk papers including assignments from my children and uh, this comes from a book that I took a bunch of images out of and then it had a whole bunch of weird text pages and the book pages were like a satiny glossy finish which was okay it wasn't amazing but for this and the more layers you add onto these glossy pages um, the less glossiness you'll see obviously <clears throat> and I'm trying to use dark colors like the dark blues the dark purples the black um, the blue and purple don't show up too dark on this glossy paper but uh, I promise I promise it gets darker and when you put the black over it you still see the blue and the purple shining you know like peeking through a little bit uh, and this black paint I have is like really old so I'm trying to I'm trying to just get rid of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting over some kind of plague um, illness that has swept through my house here recently. Um, but there's a reason for the black, and a part of me kind of wishes I did some different colors than black, but you know, you could always go back. I could always go back and change it up and do something different, do something more. There's no limit. There's no limit to the painting papers. So. You're going to see here in a few minutes where I went wrong. I mixed my paint. I mixed my bloody paint, which is red, red bloody paint. <clears throat> but then I didn't record me making the blood marks on the paper. So you're going to see me mix it twice because I just forgot. But it all works out. I promise it all works out. But you could really do this with any color. And no, that's not the bloody color I was talking about. That's like a dark, it's actually like a dark magenta. It just doesn't look that way on, <clears throat> on this video. But I promise it's dark, darkish. Um, so, you know, I, you could do this with any colors you want. You don't need black. The projects that I'm working on might benefit more from the black, which is why I did it that way. But you don't have to use um you could use any color you want, really. It's not, there's no, there's no uh, right or wrong to making painty papers. Um, these are like a, uh, <clears throat> what are they called? Like a um, iridescent glittery paint stuff that I used and uh, I was just trying it out and I like them, they're pretty cool, they're pretty fun, but uh, they're good for like an overcoat and I like to do stuff like that like with my glossy paints I like to sometimes put an overcoat over the um, not glossy paints I'm sorry my metallics I will sometimes put an overcoat of the metallics on the on the um, finished product or you know whatever semi finished I don't ever consider them to be finished but you gotta break it you gotta make an endpoint at some point. <clears throat> so this is where I mix the red. I just take all kinds of reds and I take glitter and I take satiny and I take metallic and I take all the color reds I have and I mix them up with water to thin them down, okay? Um, <clears throat> it doesn't, this batch here, actually both of the times that I did it, the one time that I forgot to make the video and the time that I remember to record what I was doing, I usually had to keep adding more water to make it more runny um, so that it dripped nice. So you're gonna kinda watch it, uh, see what I mean here? 
and watch it just kind watch me kind of just drip a bunch of paint all over the place. When mixing this, it's really a um, trial and error, and I just use the end of a paintbrush to mix it, and then I wipe it off there, and you know there's still paint on the end of that paintbrush, but whatever. It's just a paintbrush. It's not like it's you know <clears throat> something fancy. So I use this binder here. This is where I keep all my stencils, and I try and use this for uh, an angle, right? So I try and create like an angle with it. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of drippage. And I had to water it down some more. And I kind of just did that back and forth the whole time. The whole time I just kept adding more water to it and it kept coming out better. <clears throat> and then the more water you added, the better splatters you got later on. So that was really nice. This is my second round of mixing because like I said, I didn't record the whole uh, session the last time. It, I didn't realize that I had shut my camera off and didn't record it because I had paused my camera. So yeah, that was fun, good times. But I get it, I, I do another batch of them and uh, these is, the only difference is this batch you didn't see me paint the papers first and it's all the same stuff, dark blue, black. I did all darker colors. Um, because I was going for a, a darker background look. But like I said, I was ki I'm kind of wishing I did light colors, but I could always just go back. And I probably will at some point go back and make some lighter colored, uh, <coughs> lighter colored papers with blood. So uh, you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here. It's blood drips like down a shower door when you murder someone in the shower or along the wall when you murder someone near a wall. You know, just, just getting bloody. Halloween-y. Halloween is creepy bloody. And I know someone here is going to say, well, what are you going to do with those? Let me tell you. You're going to have to watch and find out. You're going to have to watch my channel. I'm going to use it in my Halloween journal. I'm going to use it for some of my spooky projects. Because um, like I said, they make great backgrounds, they make great um, <clears throat> anything, anything you want to do with these. You're creating your own colored, textured, and designed paper. So when you go to the craft store and you buy yourself scrapbook paper, once in a while, for me it's every single time anyway, Every single time, there are papers in a paper pack that I don't like. Um, at least one, at least one pattern I, I don't like. And I go through that every single time and I'm like, you know what? It's gonna be way better for me to just make my own papers the way I, I like them and the way I want them done. So that is basically what I did. I just did my own my own papers and they're easy and you can recycle um, you can recycle your junk mail you can recycle your kids homework like I did you can recycle your uh, you know magazines and catalogs and whatever you want to use you can you can use anything you want so yeah that's what I suggest I suggest to always always look at your junk pile first before you go buying things or looking for things. So, <clears throat> these are some of the papers I did, which you'll see on another video. Um, I did get the idea to do some on some of my fall colored pages and um, it worked out, you know, it worked out nice, <clears throat> but I didn't have, it didn't, it kind of, you know, it didn't stick out too much because of all of the reddish hues already on it. Um, and then the drippies ended up coming out good because I dried them. I tried to stand everything up to dry, you know, like lean it against things. And it, it worked out a little bit. And the more you water it down, obviously, the drippier it gets. So, you know, these are cool. And for what I'm doing with them, using them in little pieces or using them as backgrounds, um, it's going to work out just fine. But yeah, you can make some real spooktacular stuff with these. Um, I might even make some digitals with them. I haven't decided yet. The only downfall that I found was 
it took kind of a while to dry. It took kind of a long time to dry because it's thick, you know, there's a lot of paint in that little bottle and those are thick globbies. But it's kind of nice because it kind of gives it a little bit of dimension. So it's kind of a dimensional globby. And the sprays, like when I get to the end of the bottle, that's cool. That was a happy accident that I discovered. And then I was like, well, I have to do this to everything. Everything has got to have paint splatters. When you shoot somebody in the head, the, paint, the blood splatters, right? So all my papers need blood splatters. Like a whole bunch of people got shot in the head right up against this piece of paper. And so blood splatters it was right up against these pieces of paper, just like someone got shot. If I had something to use, I'd put skull fragments on there even. And before you go judging me, this is Halloween, okay? You can get as creepy or as weird or as slutty as you want for Halloween. That's the purpose of it. It is the weird, creepy, spooky, and sometimes slutty holiday. These are all the ones that I did, including the ones that I didn't record, like that one there. Um, so you kind of see a good example of all of them. And I really hope you all get out and do some blood splattering because I'll tell you, this was a lot of fun. And I think it would be a lot of fun to do with all different colored bloods too. You know, just to make a drippy page, a splattery, drippy. Those are the wet ones I did. So yeah, you get to kind of see my mess a little bit. Those are the wet ones that I made just now on video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait to see you for more.